None of us were going back to war again, or so I thought. The idea was to take a series of trips throughout the course of a year, walking through every season, starting in Washington, D.C., and just heading north. We would bring my dog, Daisy, for company and protection, and a cameraman to record our experiences. And while we were moving through America, we would have a 300-mile conversation about war, about what it does to you, about how it changes you, and about why you miss it why it's so hard to come back from war and re-enter society. Wow. Oscar nominated director Sebastian, Sebastian Younger captured his 300 mile journey along the railroad lines from DC to Pennsylvania for his new HBO documentary, The Last Patrol. And Sebastian joins us now. Good to have you back. Thank you. I want to get right into what inspired this. It, it, uh, did it start with you discovering this, this video of, uh, of Tim? You know, uh, Tim and I, my colleague out in Afghanistan, yeah, um, you know, w w we were going down to D.C. on the Amtrak line once, and I was just looking out the window, I was like, damn, you could walk along this whole line. There's actually a way to do it along the rail bed, I'm probably illegal, but so we decided to sort of become vagrants and walk up the East Coast along the rail line, sleeping under bridges and such, and um, Tim was killed in Libya, and I took two soldiers who he and I had known very well in Afghanistan who were getting out of the army. And a photojournalist, Guillermo Cervera, who was holding Tim's hand when he died mm. uh, in Libya. And we did that trip instead over the course of a year, uh, sleeping out in the open, cooking over twig fires, bathing in rivers, and avoiding the police. Was, um, was any part of this sort of directly, I guess, dealing with your feelings about his loss. Um, you were supposed to go on that trip to Libya. Yeah, I was supposed to be with him and I had to pull the plug at the last minute and he was killed and it affected me a lot. Um, I, yeah, I guess to some degree. Also, I, I wanted to sort of get to know the country again and mm. these two soldiers were coming home after the war and uh, and Guillermo was is a foreigner. I was really curious on what he, he would think of this country, getting to know it for the first time. When you were walking there, you talked about war with the two soldiers who'd yeah. been uh, serving with you in Iraq when you were there. How did the conversation evolve over the course of the journey? Well, we talked a lot about um, why war is so hard to give up, why mm -hmm. it's hard to unplug from and come home. Mm. And actually, and none of us were going to go back to war again. And there was a failure rate of 50%. I mean, Dave Rolls got out of the army and very quickly got bored and signed back up and went, over, went back to Afghanistan. And uh, Guillermo went to uh, Ukra Ukraine. So but I'm done. I'm done for good. But it was very interesting to watch the, the, us four men sort of struggle with giving up something that, you know, most people would think is just horrible. Sebastian, mm -hmm. that seems like such a dichotomy for people to be able to, to ingest that and not understand how they couldn't reconnect with their lives. So explain what you have sensed or what you think is the biggest part of the interruption that happens to a person's life once they go to war, cover war, and then why there is this almost addictive need to want to engage in it again. I mean, in war, you're, you're very closely plugged in to other people, right? You're in the unit that you're with, I mean, mm -hmm. if you're a soldier, and that brotherhood is incredibly compelling. And then people come back to this country, which of course is very alienated, fragmented society, uh, very troubled society, and they just feel out of place. So you're done? I'm done with war reporting. I'm not done with walking. Yeah. <laughs> we're, still, we're actually still out there. We're, we're heading for the Pacific. Like, we're very slowly going across the country along the rail lines. My, my husband was a war correspondent for years, Ooh. and he described it as a certain form of simplicity, that life was simple when you're in war zones. It's about staying alive. <sighs> and yeah. you come back, and life is much more complicated and messy when you come back Absolute, home. Absolutely. Soldiers say that. I mean, that's exactly what it is. It's simple. And as a result, it's pretty relaxing. Yeah. Did I Wait. notice, too, wow. Daisy had a GoPro on her back at one I point? I put a GoPro on Daisy's back. Daisy, yeah. Yeah. what is yeah. she, a mutt? Yeah, she's a mixed breed. Oh. Yeah. yeah, she's an amazing dog. She's yeah. perfect. Yeah. The HBO documentary film, The Last Patrol, will debut on November 10th on HBO. Be sure to watch that. Director and producer, Sebastian Younger. Thank you so much. It's always great to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Still ahead, finding God in the digital era. Americans are more plugged in than ever before, but is that coming? at the cost of our faith? That's a good question. You're watching Morning Joe. We'll be right back.